<clears throat> Alright, welcome to our next math class. Today we're going to be talking about breaking apart numbers to add. Um, we're trying to give you lots of strategies to add numbers easily um, and quickly and without making mistakes, hopefully. So, today we're going to break apart some numbers. Alright, our first example we're going to look at is 355 plus 414. Now, today in class we learned um, about making numbers in expanded form, or I shouldn't say today in class, earlier in class, uh, we learned about uh, breaking down numbers to expanded form. So that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to look at these numbers here, and I'm going to put um, pull apart the place values. So this 3, as we know, is not just a 3 because it's in the hundreds place. So the value of that 3 is actually 300. Now, the 5... In, in the tens place is worth 50. And then this 5 in the ones place is worth 5. Alright, so now I'm going to do the same thing to this number and I'm going to kind of line them up. So we've got the 4 is worth 400. The 1 is worth 10. And then the 4 is worth 4. So now what I can do is I can add those hundreds and then the tens and the ones and then just put them all together and it makes it a little easier. Alright, so I'm going to start over here. 300 plus 400 is 700. Plus 50 plus 10 would be 60. And 5 plus 4 is 9. So then I can add all that together and it's going to give me 769. So looking at it that way, that made it, breaking those numbers apart, made it a little easier. Of course, this one didn't involve regrouping, so that one... Um, that made it a little easier, too. All right, so let's look at this next problem. Let me give you a couple seconds to write that one down. All right, hope everybody's ready. All right, so we're going to break this one apart. Now, this uh, problem is written vertically instead of horizontally like the other one was. So we're going to um, write the place value um, expanded form out beside it. All right, so the three... 43, it's going to be 300 plus 40 plus 3. And then the 259, I'm going to break it down to be 200 plus 50 plus 9. And then I can add those up. So 300 plus 200 would be 500. I'm trying to pause there so you can think about that one. Uh, 40 plus 50 would be 90, and then 9 plus 3 is 12. Oh, now this one's going to be trickier because we've got some regrouping here. So I'm going to think 90 plus 12, that's going to give me 102, and then I'm going to add that to the 500, and that would give us 602. All right, moving on. All right, let's do another one. All right, so I'm going to have you copy this problem down and then press pause and uh, work it out, breaking it apart, and then press play again and we'll solve it together. All right, here we go. Hopefully everybody pressed pause and worked it out. Uh, if not, last chance. All right, here we go. So 247, we're going to break it apart to 200 plus 40 plus 7. And then 362, we're going to break it up into 300 plus 60 plus 2. And then we're going to add those up. So 200 plus 300 is 500. 60 and 40 is 100, and then 7 plus 2 is 9, so we add all those up, and our answer is 609. Alright, so now we're going to do our last problem together, and this will be your um, homework problem to bring into math class tomorrow that we will check. Alright, so let's do... Uh, let's see, let's do 423 plus, uh, let's do 300, 
48. All right, so you are going to solve that one by breaking apart. Now, even if you know how to add those numbers without breaking apart, I still want you for today to do this uh, with breaking apart the strategy that we just learned. And then bring that in tomorrow, and we will practice some more with it in class. See you then.